you guys saw my room right now, some of you would actually freak the fuck out because it is so messy. Hello everyone! So, if you did not know, on January 4th, I turned 21, which is it's freaking insane. I can't believe I'm already 21. But I always love the videos of people like giving advice after they turn a certain age. And I asked on one of my Twitter accounts if you guys would rather that I do 2017 resolutions or 21 things I learned in 21 years. And I bet you know which one won. <laughs> so the first thing I have learned is do what makes you happy and do it no matter what anyone says. I get a lot of crap for being, you know, on the internet all the time and for being so involved in celebrity culture and stuff, but that is what I love and I'm gonna end up doing that for my job anyway and it's just something that really brings me joy and so, like, I'm gonna continue doing it and I don't give a shit what anyone says. And the second thing is, like, don't give people shit for things that make them happy. Like, if someone likes eating Brussels sprouts every day of their life and it makes them happy, then that's freaking great. That's what makes them happy. That's their choice and you know, make sure that you aren't the one bringing them down for that. Make sure to wear your seatbelt always. Um, in 2012, which was, it's coming up on five years, um, there was a huge accident in my city and I lost a friend and one of the kids in the accident didn't have a seatbelt on and he flew through the window and he ended up dying. Two of them were alive on the scene and he ended up dying. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm sure if he wore his seatbelt that night, it might have saved his life. And if you are in the Dink fam, you know that Jen and Julian, right after Buffer, which I was at, um, got in a huge accident and really, really fucked up. And they really believed that their seatbelts saved their lives. And so please wear your seatbelt always. I don't understand why people don't do it, but just please do it. It's so important. There's one thing you need to get out of this video. Please let it be that. Trust your gut on second chances. I know people are kind of obsessed with giving second chances. It's a thing that a lot of people say everyone should do. But I've given second chances to people and then gotten more hurt, or I've given third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh chances to people and then gotten really hurt. And I've also given second chances to people and you know, we ended up being really great friends. So. Oh, I always say just trust your gut. Don't let other people make that decision for you. You know, if you feel like someone is really bad in your life, then don't give them a second chance. This one is huge for me. Go to all concerts you want to go to. Don't worry about the money. Get a credit card. Fucking do it. Just do it. It's worth it. Concerts are my favorite thing in the entire world and they make me so happy and I spend so much money on them. I spent $600 on Demi Lovato seats one time. Like, and plus meet and greets, I could probably have a mansion. Like honestly, the amount of money I've spent on concerts, but it just makes me so happy. Just go to all the concerts you can because that's one place where you never have to worry about anything. Be spontaneous. Don't worry about this and worry about that. Just fucking do it. Just go and do it. If you wanna do something, do it. If you wanna paint something, paint it. Don't worry about the judgment or the end results or anything. Just go do it, go have fun, you know? There's some things that I wish I did earlier in life that I still haven't done now and I wish I just kind of jumped on the opportunity and did it instead of letting my anxiety or other people ruin the opportunity. This one's really important to me um, personally. Distance does not determine friendship. I have so many friends all around the world and I'm so thankful for each and every single one of them and it's just amazing to see that a friendship can still thrive even if somebody is millions of miles away. I mean, it's just something that's really cool to see and something I'm really grateful for is that I've found people that also agree that distance doesn't determine friendship because I know a lot of people freak out about that. You know, I don't want to be friends with someone that lives in Switzerland or in Australia and I've kind of learned to accept the fact that you might never meet these people or it's going to be really hard to meet these people but that it's worth it because they're some of my, honestly, some of my best friends now are ones that live so, so far away. And not only that, but I have like a lot of friends in LA and a lot of friends, you know, in New York and a lot of friends in Texas and just, I mean, anywhere. It's just, you know that you're not gonna be able to pick them up on a Friday night and go do something. But at the same time, you know, there's effort put into that friendship and that's really all that matters. This one goes out to some of my fetus friends that I love very much. Don't try to grow up, please. I have had many mental breakdowns within the last few years wishing that I didn't 
grow up so fast and want to do everything. You know, do all the adult things in my life. You know, I just turned 21 and drinking like wasn't exciting to me. I, you know, all my friends wanted, you know, go out and get drunk and, and it's just not exciting to me. It's not something I want to do. And I wish that I didn't want to grow up so fast. And now that I'm here, I'm trying to, you know, bring my youth back and try to do a lot of things that, you know, are considered for the young people. And, you know, numbers don't matter. It doesn't matter if you're 30. You know, I mean, if any of you watch her, look at Jenna, Jenna Marbles, Jenna Mori. She acts like my age, if not younger. And, you know, she just turned 30. And that's amazing to me. I inspire to be like her so much. She, you know, lives life every day like, you know, it's fun. and. It doesn't really, she doesn't really try to be some big, you know, corporate businesswoman. She just tries to be, you know, tries to make life fun and exciting. And I really wish I did that more of my life. I got this advice from a teacher in middle school, but it was to not date in high school. And I'm going to give that advice to you. Don't date in high school. Don't waste your time because I know so many people that dated people in high school and either you know had horrible high school experiences because of it you know didn't do things because of it that they wish they had ended up not going to the college they wanted to go to because they went to the one their boyfriend or girlfriend went to you know there's a lot of different scenarios I personally never dated in high school I lived I'm fine and honestly high school was amazing I loved every second of it and you know, not really because he had a lot of, you know, tragedies and things, but you know, in the good moments, I loved so, so much. I, you know, see some of my friends now who either broke up with their significant other or had a falling out or whatever. And, you know, I've heard a lot of people say that they wish that they never dated that person and never wasted their time and or that they broke up because they went to separate colleges and they decided that they had to break up and you know you just wasted four years of your life doing all these things with this other person and now they don't even exist anymore it's just like it's a lot and i don't think it's worth it don't tell me i didn't warn you this one is so important to me adopt all the animals you can adopt all of them every animal you want in the world adopt it you know obviously if you have the funds for it don't go abusing animals because you don't have the money for it and then neglecting them but if you can and you find an animal your heart is set on go get it don't worry about it just go get it you will love it you'll be so happy and you know i have a cat who's turning you just turned 15 she's gonna be dying pretty soon she's been on a lot of liver medication for like a year now at least and I know that her days are coming but I love her so much and I couldn't have imagined the last 15 years without her so adopt every animal you can I promise it's worth it and they love you so much and you love them so much <laughs> this one kind of goes along with like being spontaneous but if you want to go somewhere go there don't wait like you never know. You could like not wake up tomorrow or you get hit by a bus. Like sorry to bring um, death into the equation, but it's possible. Like it could happen. It could happen at any second. So freaking go. I've been wanting to go to LA since I was born out of the womb. I've been wanting to go to New York since I was born out of the womb. I freaking, I will go this year. There's no doubt in my mind, I will go this year. I don't care what it takes. I don't care who's gonna go. I will go this year. I was supposed to go to my 20, for my 21st birthday. That didn't end up working out. So since that day, I have made it a mission in my life to freaking go to LA and New York. It will happen. I will go and I will keep it posted. People call me a hoarder, but at the same time, a huge piece of advice I have is keep everything you can and put them into boxes because in a few years when you're going through your stuff or when you're moving or you know when you're having a bad day or something, you'll really, really, really appreciate that you kept that stuff because it is so valuable and it's so precious and it'll bring back so many memories for you and moments of your life that you might have forgotten about. There's a lot of stuff that I have. I have literally a whole side of my closet is just filled with boxes and you know, I'm, I've kept stuff since I was like a baby, like five, six years old and I'm going to be so thankful, you know, when I move or, you know, when I have kids, if I have kids or, you know, if I get married or something, I'm going to be so thankful that I have all that stuff to show them. And I don't know, I think it just shows not only yourself, but others like pieces of you that you really can't explain in words, but that you can explain in stories with these memories. I don't know, I think it's really great and if you haven't done it, you should start right now. Stand up for what you believe in, um, no matter what anyone else thinks. If you believe that all trees should be kept 
in the rainforest and you freaking fight for that man i don't care if i don't like the rainforest you like the rainforest and that's what matters freaking fight for whatever you want i don't care if your family agrees with it i don't care if your religion doesn't agree with it if you feel a passion for it continue striving for it and continue fighting for it because one day you might be the person that makes that difference be kind to every single person even if they aren't kind to you and and always be there for people i like to think that i'm you know, as kind as I can to people and you know even people that don't like me I'm you know still wish them the best and hope that they find happiness someday and I like to think that I'm always there for my friends and for people that need me you know I've mess I've answered messages at five six in the morning and I've you know gone places or been there for people that needed me and I think that's something that is really valuable in a friend and I wish more people were like that, so remember to be kind always and, you know, be there for people that you love because you never know. You know, when in high school, there were seven deaths in three years and I knew three of them, one of them I knew really well, and I just, I don't know why you waste your time on being angry and being mean and, you know, not being there for those you love when you never know when their last moment will be. So there is some seriousness for you. Make sure that you just spend time with those you love and be there for them when they need to. <laughs> this one's kind of a joke, but kind of not. Don't look up things on the internet because the internet lies. Um, you know, this kind of goes for like medical stuff. I'm huge at like looking up medical things and you know, I've thought I was dying. My sister thought she was dying, you know. I've had a lot of scares. I've kind of wished I never did that because I freaked myself out a lot. And not only that, but like the internet lies. Like the internet told me that water bottles were only in the United States. And then I said something to my friends and they thought I was dumb. And I was like, do you guys get water bottles imported like to where you live? And they were like, no, Ashley, like there's water bottles here. I don't know. And like, there's just a lot of different scenarios I could explain. Let me know if you want a video of all the weird things that like I thought or I believed or whatever, because there are a lot of them. <laughs> I believe anything I hear, I'm very gullible and the internet lies, so don't believe it. This one is kind of like a personal one, but also like a, a notice to the rest of the world. Play Pokemon Go all the time and don't give a shit what anyone thinks. I still play Pokemon Go, play it every day. I love it very much. And I get a lot of shit for it. And you know what? I don't care anymore. Like, I don't, I don't care. I like it, it's a lot of fun. I loved Pokemon when I was younger. I used to do the trading card game. I used to, you know, be in competitions and stuff. I was like a big deal on that Pokemon grind. And my childhood is back, so. Shut up! I'm gonna play Pokemon Go and you're gonna get over it. Don't stress about the future. I promise it will just make things worse. This one's really hard for me. I have really bad anxiety, especially like about the future and things. And for some reason, my life has always kind of fallen into place. And everything will fall into place for you if you just, you know, work on yourself and work on things that you want to do. I promise it will happen. But don't stress about it. It's not worth it. It'll just freak you out and it'll just make you you don't worry about nothing. Just no one no one knows what's going on. No one knows. The world does not know. The president doesn't know what's going on. No one knows what's going on. This world changes every day, every second. No one knows what's going on. So don't worry that you don't know. This kind of goes along with like making sure that you're kind to everyone, you know, love with your entire heart. You've always told me, you know. Why do you give that person so much attention? Or why do you care so much? Or why this and that? And yeah, there are many times in my life I've gotten hurt. And there are many times in my life where, you know, I wish I hadn't given so much attention and time to someone. But at the same time, it's never changed me. Because loving with my entire heart is something that's really important. And I wish more people did it. And I wish more people gave more of themselves to their friends and their families and you know people that they looked up to because it's important and it means a lot to the other person. Listen to your mental health. If you wake up and you don't think you can go to school, don't go to school. Or if you're walking throughout the day and you get this huge depression wave and you wanna go home and sleep, go home and sleep. Listen to your mental health. Don't fight it. Don't not listen to it because that's when problems build and that's when, you know, People end up hurting themselves and bad things occur. Make sure that you're listening to your mental health. It knows what's going on. And along with that, you know, 
go to a therapist. Therapy is not something to be ashamed about. You know, that's something that for years and years and years I was ashamed about and people made fun of me for when I was younger. I am so thankful for it now. I don't, I honestly, to be completely honest, I don't know where I'd be if I didn't have it. You know, it's something that saved my life along with many people that I love very, very much. Please listen to your mental health. It's important and it knows what you need. It will always be there to tell you when you need a break. Wear what you want and don't wear what you don't want and or don't waste your time on things that you don't like. For example, I don't like doing my makeup every day. I do my makeup for filming and when I feel like it. You know what? I learned after high school, not after high school, but during high school to not do makeup every day. I fucking hated it. I hated waking up. I hated doing it. I only like doing it in certain times, so I stopped doing it. And now I'm very happy and I sleep more. <laughs> you know, same thing with like wearing what you want. You know, people think, you know, if you're above this amount of weight, you can't wear this, that, and the other thing. And if you're a girl, you can't wear this. And if you're a boy, you can't wear that. Fuck that. Fuck gender roles. Fuck it. Fuck gender roles. Like, wear whatever the fuck you want. Like, why does it matter? Why do people care so much? That's the other thing is, why do people care? Wear what you want, don't wear what you don't want, and don't put labels to things just because people wear a skirt. Doesn't mean they're gay. Just because somebody wears thigh highs doesn't mean they're a stripper and or that they're a quote unquote slut. No, guess what? They're wearing clothes, get over it. And the last thing that I learned in the 21 years of my life, and one of the things that I think is the most important is treat everyone like humans and treat everyone like friends. I think with how, you know, important our celebrity culture is to a lot of people and how wrapped up people get in that mindset, people forget that they're humans as well and they're, they make them this prize that they need to win. You know, I need to get an interaction, I need to get a fave, I need to meet them, I need them to know, you know, I'm there all the time. And people lose that connection and that humanity in everything and it becomes this horrible, selfish act. That's one thing I wish people did and that I've learned that I'm very grateful for over the last 21 years is to please treat everyone like they're humans and treat everyone like they're your friends. You know, if you look up to someone, I promise if you treat them like a person and you treat them like, you know, they're one of your friends, they will love you and they will appreciate you so much more. All right, guys, that's gonna be it. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm 21. This is crazy. Let me know down below, you know, if there's anything that you agree with, disagree with, any advice.